First, we will continue to protect jobs and create new opportunities for our people. We launched the Jobs Support Scheme, or JSS, at the start of the pandemic with one clear goal, to protect jobs. Since then, over $16 billion of JSS payouts have been dispersed, benefiting over 2 million local workers in more than 150,000 firms. While the unemployment rate has gone up, we have so far managed to keep it below the peak levels seen during SARS and the global financial crisis. The JSS currently covers the wages of employed workers up to August 2020. I will extend the JSS by up to seven months, covering wages paid up to March 2021. However, we cannot sustain the JSS at current levels. It draws heavily on our reserves and risks trapping our workers in unviable businesses. Some sectors are also recovering faster than others. I will therefore adjust support based on the projected recovery of different sectors. Firms in the aerospace, aviation and tourism sectors have been hardest hit. I will provide support at 50% wage levels for seven more months. For the built environment sector, I will provide 50% wage support for two more months before lowering to 30% for wages paid up to March 2021. This is in line with the phased resumption of construction activities. The arts and entertainment, food services, land transport, marine and offshore, and retail sectors will receive 30% wage support, also for seven more months. For the large majority of the remaining sectors, I will provide 10% support for seven more months. For the few sectors that are managing well, such as biomedical sciences, financial services and ICT, I will provide 10% support for four more months for wages paid up to December 2020. The full details will be on the Singapore Budget website. With the JSS extension, most businesses will receive wage support for 17 months to help them retain as many workers as possible. Over these months, JSS support will range from 10% to 75%. Even at 10% support, the payouts cover more than half of employers' CPF contributions. This ensures that we continue to build up the CPF savings of our workers during the crisis. I urge all businesses to make full use of this additional support to retain and upskill your workers and to transform your operations for the post-COVID-19 world. This will enable you to spring back faster when the recovery comes. For firms that are coping well, I encourage you to return or donate your GSS payouts. Nearly 600 firms have already done so, and I thank them for their sense of community. Besides the GSS, businesses can also tap on other existing schemes, such as the Enhanced Enterprise Financing Scheme and Temporary Bridging Loan Program, which are available till March 2021. 